This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. My administration has been planning for this possibility in this scenario for months. We purchased enough vaccine and vaccine supplies so that when your eight-month mark comes up, you'll be ready to get your vaccination free, that booster shot free, and we have it available. A very big development on COVID today. President Biden speaking about those booster shots moments ago. Third doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines could be available by September 20th. And federal health officials gave the green light for booster shots for fully vaccinated adults. But the big question, is Connecticut ready? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino asked the governor that question. He is joining us live right now from Hartford Hospital with some answers. Mike. Well, Mark and Aaron, he says that we are ready. Just as you heard President Biden say, he says here in Connecticut, we have plenty of vaccine and officials here with Hartford Healthcare agree. But they also say that however we go about getting people booster shots, it can't take away from the effort to get people their initial doses. We don't have a green light yet from the FDA, but I expect that to come very soon. The federal government is considering approving booster shots of the MNRA vaccines for everyone. And Connecticut is getting ready. Vaccine providers say we have plenty of vaccine to meet the demand. It's still effective in the ways that we need it to be effective. Officials with Hartford HealthCare say vaccines remain effective at lowering the risk of severe cases should you become infected with COVID. The CDC says studies are finding overall efficacy goes down, though, for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines after eight months. This is leading to a greater risk of breakthrough cases. Experts in Connecticut question if that's because the first vaccines went to older people, possibly with weaker immune systems. But they also agree it's smart to get ahead of COVID. If there's early signals uh, that are suggestive, um, uh, better to get out in front of it. Vaccine providers say there are no plans right now to bring back the large vaccine sites we saw earlier in the pandemic. That's partly because they think demand will be easier to handle. Booster shots aren't recommended until eight months after your last shot. They also say it was too difficult early in the pandemic to offer shots at doctor offices and smaller clinics. Managing the vaccine and the way it was distributed, we had to centralize it. The World Health Organization has warned that booster shots could take away from efforts to vaccinate the unvaccinated. Vaccine providers in Connecticut agree that getting people their initial dose has to remain a priority. We're not shifting our resources to ensure that boosters are available. We're expanding our resources, expanding our capacity and capability. Now, doctors in Connecticut say that vaccination rates continue to be up. So, too, is demand for COVID testing right now. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, I'll tell you why doctors say they expect that to continue and whether or not that impacts how we roll out booster shots. Live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Meanwhile, the state's COVID-19 positivity 